Are you ready to ride the wave of innovation with Google Analytics 4? Welcome to the golden opportunity to become the master navigator in the dynamic sea of web analytics. Now picture this, you are effortlessly shifting through layers of data with the finance of a seasoned analyst, unveiling insights that could redefine business strategies and catapult profits into newer heights. Sound exhilarating, doesn't it? We think so too. Step into the future of analytics with a comprehensive course designed for both beginners and seasoned professionals. Let's transform those numbers and graphs into compelling narratives that drive decisions and foster growth. With GA4, you're not just tracking data, you're crafting the roadmap to success, one insightful data point at a time. Enroll now on a free learning platform, Great Learning Academy for the course Google Analytics 4 and become an analytics mastermind. Overview of Google Analytics 4, right? So let's look at in this module, what are the various key features of Google Analytics? Let's look at what are the various functionalities that it has, right? So what is GA4? So by the way, Google Analytics 4 started operating from 1st July 2023. Right. So Google Analytics 4 is the latest iteration of Google's free web analytics platform. It is designed to provide more insightful and privacy centric tracking of users. Right. You have to maintain the privacy of the users as well and also get those insights from how they have performed on your website. Right. So that is why since it's of Google, it is trustworthy that in up to the extent in which it would not manipulate the data of, of the user. Right. So that's why it's very important. It's free. It's very useful. It's very helpful. And in terms of the privacy also, it has measures that it takes and counts in this regard. So if I talk about what are the key features, right? So it has event based tracking. What does this mean? So it means that in the previous versions, right, GA4 is different. It focuses on the event based tracking, allowing more flexibility in tracking user interactions, right? So you would have a lot of different campaigns that you would be running, right? So it is basically an event that would be tracked more properly in those campaigns, right? Allowing more flexibility in, in users per interaction from the website or the app, right? Then enhanced reporting offers more user centric reporting with the ability to track across various devices, right? So that's important. Then build for the future. So it is designed with all the privacy regulations because we know that as a user, right? We generate data on a day to day basis, tremendous amounts of data. Now, how that data is being used by these companies is important thing for those companies to look at because you cannot really sell the data to any third party user you have to maintain that privacy of the particular user, right? So these things have to be complied with, with the utmost, with the highest level of security. So that is why it is build proof. It has its predecessor, which was known as UA, Universal Analytics. It changed to Google Analytics 4, right? So let's look at the key features, right, of Google Analytics 4. The first one is next gen analytics platform, right? So if I would be showing you a hands-on of Google Analytics, but before that, so GA4 is the latest version of uh, Google's web analytics service. So it is designed to provide more insightful and user centric tracking approach. So it represents a significant shift from UA that was its predecessor, focusing the entire user journey across various devices and platform, right? So this was something that was missing in UA, right? In today, one user would have multiple devices, right? So you would have interactions with your brand, with your company through those devices and tracking each one of them separately is a task, right? So this can be done properly with Google Analytics 4. Then is event based tracking. So unlike previous versions that were primarily session based, GA4 focuses, right? Event based tracking model, right? So this is the best upgrade that uh, UA had to GA4, that event based tracking is being implemented. So now this allows for more granular and flexible tracking of user interactions from page views to button clicks, providing a more comprehensive understanding of the user behavior, right? 
So what pages they are viewing on your website, what are the various clicks that happen, right? So now that can be measured accurately using Google Analytics 4. With the privacy regulations, they have designed to keep privacy in mind, aligning with the various current data privacy laws like GDPR. That's a very, very popular, you know, law in terms of data privacy, you know, getting the data from the user and not distributing it with third party users, right? So this is very important. Now, this makes it easier for businesses to maintain compliance with various privacy regulations, ensuring that the user data is handled responsibly, right? You would have a lot of data, right? For example, pharmaceutical companies or maybe uh, the healthcare companies would have a lot of data regarding these things, regarding how a particular uh, user is, is going into your website and knowing what are the various parameters that are in play, right? So these things, the inputs that are being generated from the users, be it, let's say, different medications that the user would be taking, right? So that should not be distributed. That's something that is personal. That should not be distributed across different set of companies, right? So this is very important to look at in that scenario. Next is integrating with Google's ecosystem. Now, Google has this entire ecosystem in which you would have its Gmail, you would have uh, the various things like Google search included, you would have Google Drive, you would have a lot of various things, right? So now everything is included in at one place, right? You would have Google Workspace for that matter. Now, the ecosystem is built in that way that it has seamless integration with Google products like Google Ads are also there, Google's Data Studio. So this compatibility enables a more unified marketing approach and allows users to consolidate various data sources for various cohesive insights that would be generated. Then is enhanced reporting and analysis that would be there. The reporting system in GA4 is more intuitive and user friendly, right? So for example, a lot of entrepreneurs are starting in, right? You have different set of uh, startups that are coming up. So you would not have a lot access to a lot of funds initially. So this tool would help you to understand how the business happened, what are the leads that are being generated, what are the views that are coming in, right? So the dashboard should be very, it should not be very technical for anyone, any layman to start with. So it is designed in that way, GA4, that it's very easy to use for anyone who is coming in, start getting started on this platform, right? So cross platform tracking is there and more detailed audience insights that are there. I'll show you in a bit about the in, in depth about how the interface looks like. So it enables businesses to make more informed decisions from those insights that are being generated, right? So uh, talking about the various components are there, that are there present in GA4. So the first one is home dashboard. So that's how you look at an overview of key matrix and trends that are there currently, right? That's the home screen. Then is the real time reports. So what is happening real time on your website? What are the people coming in in real time, right? So that reports are there. Life cycle reports in which you talk about the audience acquisition, engagement, monetization, user retention, right? So there are two different things, right? When you want the customer, a lead to be generated, new customers to come to your website, that's one thing. Second thing is the customers that are already there in your platform, how do you retain them, right? So that is the retention strategies that come into play, right? So what are the users that are staying in, right? You would have heard about the marketing strategy, the zero moment of truth by Google, right? Z-M-O-T, right? So these are also the things how you retain customers, right? Then analyzing hub, customer analysis is there, various custom things you can change and explore in this hub. Then admin section in which you can configure, make all the changes, the settings are there, everything you can manage at one space. So these are the various main components that are there for GA4. Then comes uh, the events section is there in which the interactions are tracked on a website, click, page views, these are measured that would be there in the event section, then the convergence would be there in which specific actions you want to take, like making a purchase and all that would be tracked. Audience would be there, group of user defined by certain characteristics or behaviors, right? So you would have a basic understanding of what your audience type is. Again, for your own research, you would have to put in everything that you would have, analyze that data, make informed decisions, find those insights that are there 
tracking all those things, then you need to define what your TAM is, T-A-M, that is total addressable market. So all these things need to be taken care of in the utmost I respect. Then is user explorer. Now it allows for the analysis for specific anonymous user journeys, right? So for example, if someone is open in let's say incognito mode, right? So that these are the things that you do not track, what it puts in, right? So you just need certain points. You need to extract a lot of things like the browser that he's using or something of that sort, right? Personal information should not be captured. So all these things you need to take care. Debugging tools, inbuilt tool for troubleshooting or validating the data that is being generated, right? It may have bugs. It may have things that are not aligned properly. So these are the things that are inbuilt. Debugging tools are also inbuilt in Google Analytics 4. So now in this module, let's look at what are the real time information and user reports that can be generated, right? So we'll go to the dashboard. So let's say if you are, do not have a running website and you want to learn about Google Analytics, how you can do it, I'll show you. So there is this is the Google search engine. So what I'll do is I'll type in Google Analytics free demo of Merch Store, right? So this is what GA4 offers. So if I click on this, it says uh, demo account analytics help or try the uh, Google analytics demo account. Click on this. So you will come up with something like this here, right? So just click on access the account. So it says GA4 demo account, right? It says that learn by experimenting the data from Google merchandise store and flood it, right? So go down, go down. You don't need to really go through this. What you really need to do is click on where the data comes from. The data is from Google analytics demo account. Click on this and click on Google Analytics for property, Google Merchandise Store, right? Just click on this. So this is the website that is there that we will be analyzing. So that is Google official merchandise store. So it's a demo sort of website, right? So now if you click on the other one, Google Merchandise Store web data, then that will open up to your real time Google Analytics for Google Merch Shop. So basically what is the analytics of the this particular website shows up in this particular tab. So this is basically the dashboard, basically the interface, the home screen, what you will see, right? So what it tells you, what are the users that are there? Now you can have a lot of different things that can come up here. You have the event count. Now if I want to have something let's say engagement rate, right? So I'll change it to engagement rate. Then you have convergence, then you have new users, right? So you can modify it how you want it, right? You, If you want it today, let's say today, the users are here, right? No convergence, nothing, right? So it will give you real time updates as well of what is happening. Let's say take, take 90 days, right? So 90 days analysis is being shown here, right? I 169k are the new users that are there in this particular website, right? That clicked on those websites. Then let's change it to something that is different, right? So 49,000 are add to carts. What this means that people have clicked on add to carts 49,000 times, right? 812k is the conversion rate, right? I can change into everything that I want, right? Max daily revenue, total revenue in the nine in 90 days is 351,000 uh, US dollars, right? So this is mentioned, right? You can also see what which country has visited. This is in the last 30 minutes, right? So what data is available in the current scenario, it shows. If I want to see new users, I can see that. If I can see various different things, right? View real time. We mentioned that there's something known as real time. Now we do not, since it's a dummy account, we do not have the permission to do that sort of things. But yeah, in a nutshell, you can you can visit the website and see accordingly. So most of the things you can create, you can analyze from the particular home screen itself, right? So I clicked on the report snapshot. So it has various different kinds of reports, average engagement time, what is there in the website, total revenue that is there in, in a particular set. So in last 28 days, I'm seeing, right? If I want to change it to let last 90 days, I can apply that as well. So it's very user-friendly uh, experience that you get when you get in there. It's, it's nothing 
to outside world that is very difficult to understand it's very easy right so what are the users overview e-commerce purchase everything is there we talked about acquisition right so user acquisition the traffic acquisition is there what are the various types of you know engagements or events conversions screens landing page right so also one of the best things is there you have users by session right so direct cross channel cross network organic search unassigned paid search so all these things are mentioned over here what is the percentage of the total that are their users in the sessions right if i want to change it to the way i want i can do it so all these things are being mentioned so these things change according to what i set up to so all these the factors right direct cross network organic search paid search everything is being shown here itself right so then we have landing page so there are, there are a lot of things that you can just go and check it out right then you have the explore page in which you would have a lot of different types of things that you want to you know, want to have a funnel journey you would have so there are different things that you can generate right so this is a table that is being generated in which the abandonment rate is being mentioned so there are a lot of different parameters that you can just set in right if i just set this draw drag and drop various funnels would be created accordingly right I remove the purchase one if i want the website traffic so as i mentioned right the number of devices now mobile traffic tablet traffic so you have a different sort of things right you can change the dimensions you can change so a lot of different devices categories are mentioned tablet desktop tablet mobile so all these things how you want to view it you can view it right if you want to build another one free form or you can have a user lifetime dimensions of that variables you can attach to it right so all these things you can just drag and drop understand the dimensions that are there first user campaign right so the every campaigns have would have different sort of numbers coming in right you can track your marketing track your various campaigns that are there track your efforts that are being put right so all these things can be easily tracked right so there's a section of advertisement also right so what are the default organic search are there what are the paid search are there what are paid search basically uh, if you go to your google right google search engine right let's say english course online right so there are something known as sponsored then there's something known as the websites that would be ranked at the top right so this is organic results the one that would have sponsored written in front of them would would be paid effort by the brands right so these things are their default organic search so you have a lot of different variations that come in so you if you go and check it out you can do as much as you want but the core concept remains the same right sessions per user you would have pages number of visitors coming in right so all these aspects you need to look at right you would have by country right you can switch it to the country that you want let's say the the most amount of users in the past 7 days are from united states right i can change the matrix to see if that number changes right so it doesn't first is united states then is canada then is india right so canada has seen a 60 plus 5% growth in the past 90 days right so you would have uh, referrals paid search so all these things you can you can just see what what are being done in this particular dashboard